Hello, another quick video. This is Racing Champions. This is one of the last companies I would like to um, look at. You know, the, the company that I really want to look at is, um, well, Atomica and Atomica Premium. And they're not, I don't know, I had a shipment from Japan that was supposed to arrive yesterday. Late as yesterday, I think the earliest was like April 14, April 17th or something like that. The seller hasn't given me a word on what's happening. Never provided tracking. I, I don't like to assume the worst of people, but I, I, I feel like there's a chance they just never shipped it at all. But I contacted them, there was no response. Oh, I think there's an auto, may automatically generated message saying just wait a week, which I will. I'll do that. I'll wait until all my semester is over. But at this point, I just don't think they're coming at all. But this is Racing Champions. If you don't know, Racing Champions is under the um, parent company um, round two. You can see it. Yep. You can see round two right here. And if you don't know, round two also owns two other companies. Focus. Uh, the first one being Johnny Lightning. The second one being um, Auto World. So uh, if you're familiar with their packaging, you can see that they're very, very similar. You have the live intent run number here, one out of 3,200. And you also see on um, the side here, it's um, very similar to how M2 does, uh, not M2, how uh, Auto World does it. And on the back, this is very, it's almost exactly the same as Johnny Lightning back packaging. Um, although uh, Johnny Lightning usually just have like two series here that doesn't tell you about uh, White Lightning, or at least not all of them. I'm pretty sure I've seen some of them. Click all six, they're basically in the same, uh, same font, same design. But this is the 1960 Chevy Impala. You can see I already cut the packaging. Not very well, I might say so. But thankfully it's just a black part that will be very, that can be easily you know, painted in if I want to do that. But this is a, a 1960 Chevy Impala. And from everything from what I've heard that Racing Champions is closer to Johnny Lightning than it is to Auto World, as in the cars are designed to fit the blister um, and not to scale. But I'm curious to see the scale. Obviously, you don't take this as um, gossip one way or another. If it doesn't come out to exactly 164, if it comes out to 164, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that everything else is 164 because from everything I've heard, they are usually aren't. Looking up the numbers weren't easy, but I actually have it. I'm actually taking notes for this. For 1968 Chevy Impala measures at 210.8 inches, which translates to 53, 54.32 millimeters. And divide that by 64 comes out to 83.66. So it should be under 84 millimeters. And... Uh, Wait, this is a um, one, two, three. Um, not perfectly. I think it's, it might be a little too short, unfortunately. So it's not one sixty-four. Slightly smaller, maybe. But um, that is okay. Like I said, I'm not judging it based on one sixty-four because it's not claiming to be that. And first, we can see. Um, I can already see a moving part right here, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, to do, you can see the front. Deco, you can see the light, pretty simplistic, but the lights are small anyway, so it's perfectly fine. Nice paint all over. Um, is this a paint problem? Yeah, um, it's tiny enough, it doesn't matter, right? Some more detailing here. It's a Chevy. And back here, the plate, license plate reads Impala, if the stupid focus were Impala, thank you. And rear light details, very nice. There's another um, little thing over here. The other side is pretty much exactly the same. It's got a hard top, classic. And the bottom, this is exactly what you would expect from Johnny Lightning, more or less. So look, yeah. And the print as well, it's tiny, but you can see here it says uh, Racing Champions and Made in China. Do we, I don't remember seeing Johnny Lightning down here. Oh yeah, you see Johnny Lightning here. So I think they're basically made in the exact same manner, which is really curious. I know they're owned by the same company, but seeing them so similar, it's definitely curious. So the back trunk doesn't open, but the front should. Yep. And it opens up to show 
Uh, fairly simple engine details, but opening features as well as detailed engine interiors are always welcome. So I don't think there's too much to it. I'm glad to get it. The one I was actually hoping for was the uh, uh, VW Jetta because Racing Champions has a uh, Fast and Furious license. But uh, that one is selling pretty high on eBay. I don't think Amazon has it. So, um, but I love the Impala. I just think it looks, it's a great looking car. Actually, speaking of Impalas, I have a Hot Wheels version. I think these generations of Impalas are very good looking. Older generations, the current generation of Impala. I think it doesn't look bad, it just looks generic, unfortunately. This is another Impala, and this is from Hot Wheels. What year is this supposed to be? 61, so one year after. And this is a special model, right? This is a, no, it just says 61 Impala. Just move these two out of the way. They look pretty nice next to each other, actually. Um, I think the Racing Champions one is slightly larger scale than Hot Wheels version. And yeah, they look very nice. And oh, I think out of all of the three, um, all of the three round two brands, I think Racing Champion, for my limited knowledge, I don't have that many uh, Racing Champions. Uh, I know Giant Lightning don't, uh, they roll but not very well because of the rubber tires are sometimes pretty problematic. Um, this one, Auto World, this one specifically doesn't roll well, but every other one I've got was fine. Not amazing, but fine. And this one, uh, it doesn't keep on rolling, but well, I guess it probably might be similar to um, Auto World, I guess. But this is all I have to say about Racing Champions. It's cool to have in my collection. I really want to get some Tommy Cuss, please. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Ding.